it's Brandy at Hitting Reset coming at you with a new video uh, this week because I was kind of focusing more on you know showing everyone the other videos that I had that were on my channel because I, I mean I cannot lie it's becoming a little bit discouraging for me um, you can have all the great uh, information and content and everything in the world but if no one sees it, you kind of feel like it's for nothing. But that's kind of what I've been struggling with uh, for the past couple weeks. I've actually felt really kind of stuck. And I think instead of me just staying stuck and going, you know, F this S, I'm not gonna do any more videos or I'm not gonna talk about, you know, what I wanna talk about, I'm gonna talk exactly what I wanna talk about it. And I'm going to come to you with the fact that I feel stuck. And I know that if I feel stuck, that there's other people out there that feel stuck too. The knee-jerk reaction is just to give up. I had to actually turn to myself <laughs> to get some advice. And I went back and looked at one of the, um, my older blog posts and it was it's called Five Ways to Create Your Own Opportunities. I feel like nothing that I'm doing is working um, yet and still I know that I have to keep going. And what I talk about in my five ways to create your own opportunities, number one, visualize it. You actually have to see it in your mind, see whatever goal it is that you are trying to set for yourself or you're trying to accomplish and see yourself accomplishing it, see yourself reaching that goal. If you don't see it, then it's not gonna happen. So the second thing that I recommend to do and I'm recommending myself is to think outside of the box. There's always, you know, point A gets you to point B, and then point B gets you to point C. And I, I'm finding as I get older and continue on these new ventures and new journeys that necessarily, that doesn't always add up. Um, a, a doesn't always go to B to C to D. Um, progression isn't always a straight line. And so you have to think of other ways to get to your goal and to reach them instead of thinking there's only one way to do it. There are several different avenues to reach where, uh, the goal that you're trying to get to. So thinking outside the box, it's huge. Um, yeah, but the third thing that I talk about was taking actual action. So many times we have these goals and admirations and things that we want to do, but when it comes to actually doing them, nobody actually does them. So, I mean, we can talk about our wishes and our wants and all the things that we aspire to do in life but if we just go ahead and just keep them right here in our mind they're just a dream right so i mean how do we take it to that next level how do we take our actual dreams to reality and we have to take actual action um i know it's so much easier to sit in a daydream and dream and wish and think about all the things that you want um, but if you don't do anything about it nobody else is and so the way to get from that dream to reality is to actually take the action um, the fourth thing that I talk about, it's not about luck. A lot of it is work. We can cross our fingers and we can wish it and want it and dream to our heart's desire. But if we don't actually work to get that, it's not gonna happen. I, I do believe that I keep a little bit of luck in my side pocket, um, just as a, a, a beat of hope. Uh, but I know that it's actually gonna take me doing something um, and actually working to um, achieve those goals that I'm trying to accomplish. Uh, the fifth thing that I talk about is about limiting myself, uh, limiting yourself. If you tell yourself that I'm only capable of doing X, Y, and Z, then that is all you're gonna be capable of doing. Open your mind just a little bit and tell yourself you are limitless. You know, your limits are what you create. You can only accomplish and go so far as you allow yourself to. So it's, it's one thing to take baby steps and do step by step, but don't limit yourself as to what you could do because you will never know what you are actually capable of doing until you actually get out there and do it. So I am damn determined to continue on with this and I think this is the pep talk that I needed to give myself and that I'm sharing with you and the struggle is real and I know there's people out there struggling the same way that I am uh, when it comes to getting unstuck and taking that next step and what can we do to be better to do better I have to go back like I said to one of my old articles and just uh, read it 
creating your opportunities and that's exactly where I am right now. So um, I'll link it below. So if you guys want to go and check it out. Also leave me any comments below. What do you do to get unstuck? Because right now I could use a little help. So if you have any suggestions, it would be greatly appreciated. So um, find me on Instagram, I'm there a lot. Find me on Facebook. Um, but yeah, like I said, check out the, the blog posts. And it was advice that I needed to hear at this time. And um, hopefully there's somebody out there that uh, needed to hear this too. So I share this with you. So until next time, you guys, I will check you later and I will see you so soon. Bye.